Want to know what's in my bag of tricks? Grab a coffee and let's chat about it. And welcome to my channel. My name is Allison Clark and I am a senior portrait and wedding photographer based out of Southern New Hampshire. On my channel, I love to share educational content for other photographers out there and small business owners to help them grow their own businesses. So in this bag is a bunch of stuff that I bring to senior portrait sessions that's not camera gear. I call it my bag of tricks and it's chock full of stuff that helps me prepare for the worst situations and ensures that my seniors will get the best experience they can and the best photos possible. And since I brought this bag to senior sessions a few years ago, it has cut my editing time in half on some of the windiest, hottest, most muggiest days. So it has been such a lifesaver on the back end as well. Let's dive in. First things first, I have this can of hairspray. I found that when seniors have straight hair like mine, especially if they blow dry it straight, sometimes, I probably have them right now, you get the little like baby hairs up here that kind of stick up, or especially on windy days when the wind is just constantly blowing and kind of just messing up your hair the whole time. I have this can of hairspray and what I love to do is just spray it on my senior's hair and then use the side of the bottle to help flatten those hairs down and make sure that it is slick and smooth and there are no little baby hairs that I'm gonna have to edit out later. The next thing in my bag is this battery-powered fan. I bought this two years ago after a senior session that I had when it was 95 degrees outside and like literally 80% humidity. It was disgusting. Um, my senior was such a trooper for still going forward with the session and you would not even be able to tell that she was hot, but it was definitely miserable and I felt so bad for her that she was hot the whole time. Um, and her mom actually had the tiniest little battery powered fan that in between outfit changes we would both sit in front of and just soak it all up. Um, so I bought one of my own and it's actually been such a lifesaver on hot days. If I know it's gonna be hot, I'll just charge it up before, bring it with. Um, the moms always love it. <laughs> um, and it's really nice too if my seniors in their changing tent, sometimes I'll just take the fan and I'll hold it over the top because the top is open in my tent um, and it creates like a small wind tunnel in there. So it, it definitely helps cool them off even the littlest bit and every little bit helps on those wicked hot days. The next thing in my bag is this little hairbrush. Um, I find that sometimes, especially for my girls with longer sessions where they have six outfits, between outfit changes, sometimes your hair can get a little bit messed up, so it's always handy to have this little hairbrush. Even though in my style guide, I do recommend that my seniors bring a hairbrush. Um, I bring this just in case, in case they don't, um, and it's always been super helpful to me. The next thing in my bag is bug spray. If you live in New England or just on the East Coast in general where it gets really humid sometimes, um, you know the mosquitoes can be nasty in the summer. Um, and especially those little gnats that just get in your ears and it's just, it can really ruin an experience. So I always bring bug spray just in case it's super buggy outside or if we're in a more wooded area, um, this helps kind of keep those bugs away at least a little bit, which is super helpful. I also have bobby pins. I have these bobby pins for a couple of reasons. Um, first of all, for hair changes. Sometimes girls will decide last minute they want to do like a little pin back look, so I always carry these. Also because sometimes I'll get girls with that bring a top that kind of wraps in the front and is layered, and it pops open sometimes. And so just to keep us from having to worry about that, um, I have these bobby pins, and I also have some safety pins that we can use to kind of poke a hole through it if they don't mind poking a hole through their shirt um, to kind of keep that closed. I also have eyelash glue. I always recommend that my seniors wear falsies for their senior sessions just because it helps give a little bit of extra drama and glam to their photos. Um, and it always looks super flattering, but sometimes, especially if they don't trim the lashes, the edges can kind of flap up and you can tell. So I always keep this handy just in case they need to re-glue their lashes. And last but not least, I have blotting sheets. I just got these at Target. They're like the Target brands, super cheap, but these have literally been such a huge part of my bag of tricks. Um, everyone loves the blotting sheets in the summer just because, you know, you get sweaty on the forehead and it's just nice to be able to dab in between outfits um, with these blotting sheets. And it also saves me so much time later because I don't have to worry about editing out shine or grease. It just makes that skin look nice and matte and nice and smooth. And so it, it's kind of great for everybody. And that's it. That's what's in my bag of tricks. I bring it with me to every senior session. It definitely helps improve their experience and helps me out a little bit later when I don't have to edit out shine or flyaways. Um, it's been such a great addition to my senior experience and was so inexpensive. All of these things you can get at Target for like less than $5. 
it's really not a big deal, um, but it's definitely been a huge part of my business and my experience. So I would definitely recommend if you're a senior photographer to invest in a little bag of tricks, put it together for yourself so that it makes sense for you and your business. And if you do end up putting one together, Definitely share it on Instagram, tag me so I can see what your own bag of tricks looks like and I'm super excited to see how you implement this in your own business. Hit that like button if this video is helpful to you and make sure to hit subscribe if you wanna see my new content that comes out every single Friday. Thank you again for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you all next week. Have a lovely day.